Welcome back, time to newcomers alike to apologize to State's Attorney. Last episode, we cross-examined the heck out of La Mirar and picked apart that performance, and we figured out how she did that little disappearing act. So now let's get into more detail. We're nearing the end of this case. Super excited. Let's go. Then you'll just have to tell us what you can. We'll hear your testimony on this. Mr. Justice, it will be your job to wring the truth out of her. Yes, if you would, please. <laughs> she wants us to wring the truth out of her? That's awesome. Right. I feel like a student before finals. Good luck, Apollo! The big illusion. I followed the route exactly as I was instructed. There is an emergency exit in the backstage, where a stagehand waited. From there, one can enter the forum on the opposite side from the stage. And the plan was for me to move there in two minutes. I was on my way when I heard the voice. Ah, two minutes, you say? The mystery deepens. It suppose it was too much to hope that the judge would come up with something. That's just my curiosity! Take it away, Mr. Jatis. Right, Your Honor. All I have to do is find the contradiction between what Lamirar is saying and what we can see plainly in the video. I figured it out already. I am a magician after all. Well, tell me. Not a chance. I can't reveal another magician's secrets. Come God on. God dang it, Trucy. Hey, you're supposed to be on my side here. Uh, all right. The big illusion. All right, let's see here. You follow the route exactly as you were instructed. There's an emergency exit in the backstage or a stagehand. Waited from there, one can enter the forum on the opposite side from the stage. The plan was for me to move there in two minutes. Two minutes? Yes. It can be done in one minute if you are running. Running? In that cramped, dark tunnel above the ceiling? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, have you forgotten? Dark or lit? It makes no difference to me. Ah, yeah, that's true, but... So you're saying that on the night of the concert, you made the trip in two minutes? Yes. Though I nearly didn't make it in time. You see, I stopped halfway. Mommy Rod disappears on the video for 20 seconds. But she says she made the trip in two minutes. How? If you want my professional opinion, I'll bet the answer is right there in that video. Wow, Mr. Justice. Perhaps you have some evidence for us. Something that can explain the discrepancy between the video and her testimony? Ah! Evidence explaining the discrepancy? Sure. There's one piece of evidence that explains this discrepancy between video and testimony. Well, you would have to guess that it's the video itself. I mean, what else would it be? Aha! So this is it. The magical key to unlocking the illusion stock secret. Tell us how it works. Quickly! I can't bear the suspense. I was kind of hoping someone else would jump in at this point. Well, you see... Objection! Uh, Judge, I do hate to spoil the mood. But I haven't the faintest idea of what he's talking about, and Nisa does heat. I'm a little confused to you there, Apollo. Right. By which I conclude that... Uh, I was wrong. Better luck next time, Pollywog! Pollywog? Really? Mr. Justice? Mr. Pollywog, I'm holding you responsible for spoiling my mood. Was that a tear I just saw in the judge's eye? <laughs> All right, nothing to do with what you think this through. The key's in the video somewhere. I'm sure of it. Okay, uh, discrepancy between video and testimony. Oh, what about the brooch? Let me rar. Do you happen to remember this brooch? Ah, I was right. Yes. Aha! The brooch! We saw that yesterday, did we not? It was found at the scene, Your Honor. And you're bringing this up now. Why? I thought we'd already determined when that was dropped. So did I. But we hadn't. Take another look at the video. Here, you can see she's wearing the brooch. Um, so she is. Let's look a bit later. What? 
the brooch is gone! What? Yes. The brooch disappeared in the short space of 20 seconds. And it takes a full minute to run from the stage to the backstage. Which means there can only be one explanation. The Lamiora we see before the vanishing act and the Lamiora we see after are two different people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? The brooch was found on the floor at the crime scene. And not just on the floor, but on the floor directly beneath the air vent. Lamirar, tell me, did you drop the brooch on your way from the stage to the backstage? At the very moment you witnessed the crime? Yes, I think I did. Order! Prosecutor Gavin! From your expression, I gather you had no idea this was the case, Sir Judge. The band is so confused! I, of course, knew about it. What? Don't get me wrong, I wasn't hiding it. It just never occurred to me that the switch and the shooting took place at the same time. So, I was right? There was a switch? There was. Just before the stage's tower rose, Lamara was replaced. While we're on the subject, just who is this replacement, Lamirar? Was the man behind the illusion, Valent Grammary. It was Grammary? That's quite the illusion, but I still don't get one thing. Yes? The switch happened before the tower rose, correct? So you weren't on the stage. But this... Uh, Hey, Glamirar is still singing. And she's pretty good. That's true. Come on, Apollo. That's an easy one. They were just playing a recording. <laughs> the governor's on some kind of air guitar band, Froilein. Ah, uh, you mean I'm wrong? When we play a show live, we play live. No recordings. Perhaps you can explain, Lamara? Very well. Yes. And do tell, and add it to your testimony. I had to keep singing, even while I moved. Okay, don't care. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, Apollo. Shut up, Apollo. Shut up. Okay. Anyways. Um. Had to keep singing, even while I moved. So, you probably used this thing, right? And it probably dropped. Objection. Or do we press that? Hmm. Is there anything evidence-wise we can present then? Um, I don't know. Let's press. You were singing? Yes. Mr. Gavin expressed a dislike for recordings, so I used this. Wait, so you were singing the whole time? Even when you were crawling above the ceiling toward the backstage? Why should it matter where I sing, when everywhere I go is the same darkness? But, but, but if you were singing while you were walking... That's right! Wouldn't the shooter and victim have heard? She was singing right over their heads after all! That is right. Are you sure? You have to be pretty hard of hearing to miss someone singing in the ceiling. Once again, we come back to the state of the scene of the crime. What state? Ah! I know what he means! That old speaker, Apollo! The speaker? That speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. Satisfied? That dressing room was fitted with a large speaker playing a direct feed from the stage. At my request, actually. So Lamirar singing in the ceiling sounded just like Lamirar singing over the speaker. Ingenious! Her voice was hidden! By her voice! Uh, Lamirar? I have just remembered something. 
Do tell. When I heard the noise, the gunshots, yes, it startled me. So I... So you... I stopped singing. What? I forgot the words I was supposed to sing. The song stopped? Thankfully, it was the very beginning of the second verse, so not many would notice. Forehead. That mixing board I lent you, where is it? The mixing... huh? That machine, Apollo! The one that breaks music into tracks! Oh, this! i completely forgotten about it. Let's take a listen. Sugar, sugar, oh, that night in your embrace, when you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so tight. Pleasure. The song does stop there. Hey, Taj, I must have missed it. Look at the lyric sheet at the top of the second verse. See where it says pleasure, pleasure? Now listen again. When you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so But the fleeting melody. This is evidence indeed. I believe we are guilty of making a terrible mistake. The crime didn't happen during the third set. It happened during the second, during La Mirar's ballad. If that is true, then no one on stage during the second set could have been the shooter. Which means that Darian Crescent could have done it. He wasn't on stage for the second set. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Fascinating. I don't believe I've ever seen a trial turned around quite so thoroughly. Yet one problem remains. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? A forehead theory does not have a certain kind of logic to it. Yet it is entirely based upon Lamara's testimony. Yes? Is there a problem with this? Well, it's quite simple, so it pains me to say it. What if she is lying to protect the defendant? But you have no proof! All I'm saying is that the truth is as yet unclear. Until we hear directly from the man himself. The man? You don't mean... Yes. So he is a friend and band member, Darian Crescent must take the stand. I see no other way. As someone with a new perspective on the case? As a suspect, to be frank. Finally! The rat's coming out of his hole! And I'm ready to catch him! Darian Crescent, get ready for justice! This is as good a time as any to pause for a brief recess. The prosecution will summon the witness. Have him here and ready by the time we begin. I'm the last man who needs to be reminded what his duties are. Very well. Court is adjourned for a 15-minute recess. To be continued right now. Got about 15 minutes left. Let's do this crap. July 10th, 140, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Apollo, I can't believe it! It really happened during the second act? And right in the middle of Lamidar's performance? Why, she was in that air vent. And that switch, and the flaming guitar. When you link it all together, that's what you end up with. Phoenix! Holy crap, we haven't seen you in like 15 episodes. Mr. Wright! 
You believed in me? Not really. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that'd make a cooler entrance than say, hiya. Phoenix, you're such a troll. But you're an awesome troll. Why do I even bother hoping? Where have you been lately, Daddy? You haven't been coming to the office at all! Uh, sorry about that, Trucy. I'm on a secret mission. Secret? You mean like you're undercover? Like Mr. Latouse, only shorter and not as well dressed. Oh no! What if you're shot too, Daddy? Haha! <laughs> Would I do a thing like that to you? Anyway, I'm off for a while again. Huh? You're leaving? Oh, one thing before I go. What? Good luck. Right. Um, is that all you came to say? I think you have things pretty much under control. You'll get Machi Tobe off of the hook, no doubt. Yeah, but... You're after that detective, aren't you? Darian Crescent. It won't be easy proving he did it. Especially not under the current court system. The current court system? What did Prosecutor Gavin say during the trial? Your case is based on one fragile assumption. Namely, that our diva divine is telling the truth. But what about all the proof? The brooch. And the switch. A piece of jewelry and a lyrical blunder. There are plenty of other ways to explain these things. The flaming guitar, too. All because you lack definitive proof of their connection to the case. If the sultry songtress is lying, then your case melts like butter in a frying pan, leaving behind the faintly sing scent of failure. So what do I do? Like I said, good luck. And be aware that it will be impossible to prove his guilt by conventional methods. Uh. Oh, that reminds me. I have something to give you from our detective friend. Detective Sky, Emma? Let's see, this bag of snacks here was meant for me. Ah, here it is. What are those, Daddy? They don't look like good snacking material. They were found at the scene. Analysis of fragments revealed traces of gunpowder. Gunpowder? Probably a firecracker or something similar, like the ones kids are into these days. These fragments were found under the sofa at the scene of the crime, actually. Under the sofa? Hey, Apollo! That's where we found that little device thingy! Right, this. Well, finally, some evidence that makes sense. Burnt fragments added to the court record. That's all for me, I suppose. See you after the verdict, maybe. Right. Every man has an igniter inside him. Excuse me? Find Darian Crescent's igniter and set it off. And he walked out the door, just like... Just like a magician, normally. Uh, what does he want us to do? No conventional methods? What does that mean? I guess we just have to take his advice and hope it makes sense when the time comes. I guess. We're almost at the finish line. Hang in there, Trucy. And hang in there, audience, because this is nearing its end. All we have to do is convict Darian, guys. That's it. This is the final leg of case three. July 10th, 155, District Court, courtroom number three. Court is now back in session. Prosecutor Gavin, where's Detective Crescent? In the witness lounge, ready to be called at any time. Very well. Might I add, I don't believe any of this. He, Darian, was the first detective I ever worked with. 
He stopped working together when he moved to Criminal Affairs Division 3. But his guitar playing, it, it fires my imagination. That's nice, but it has nothing to do with the matter at hand. Correct? Oh, I know. Air forehead. Very well. Call the final witness to the stand. Let's get this crap over with, yes. Detective Darian Crissad. Name an occupation, please. Darian Crescent, Detective, Criminal Affairs, Division 3. That's international affairs for those of you who don't know. And I'm the guitarist for the Gaviners. Maybe you've heard of us. Do you fully understand the circumstances under which you stand before us today? Yeah, I understand, Your Honor. What I don't understand is how you let this happen, partner. You gave me your word I wouldn't be standing here. The situation's changed, Darian. And don't call me partner. Feh! So much for old friends. I see what you're doing, Darian. You're pressing the prosecution. Your Honor, if we could begin the trial... Yes, it's high time we did. Let's hear your testimony. You may begin with your response to Lamy Raj's testimony. If, in fact, you have anything to say about it. Oh, I got plenty to say. Lying must be an international pastime in Borginia. And wherever you're from, Mr. Justice, ha! Huh? Conventional methods are out the window, huh? Here goes nothing. Let's do this. Darian's rebuttal. The diva's lying, plain and simple. She's got nothing to back up her story. In the first place, she never even heard my voice. She forgot the words because she heard gunshots, as if. Didn't Detective Emma Sky hear those gunshots in the third set anyway? The shooting took place while I was on stage, man. Hmm, so you claim Lamy Ra's testimony was a lie. Hey. Don't get me wrong, I dig what she's doing, trying to protect that kid. And she's got the court eating vague statements out of her hand just because she's blind. You go too far, Therian. Look, all I'm saying is you've got a reliable witness. Why not listen to the detective? Detective Sky? Hmm, I see. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. He didn't waste any time finding our weak spot. Can't do this with Lamy Rar's testimony alone. I'll have to find some other way to prove when the shooting took place. Darian's rebuttal. The diva's lying plain and simple. She's got nothing to back up her story. In the first place, she never heard my voice. Forgot the words because she heard gunshots. As if. Didn't Detective Emma Sky hear those gunshots during the third set anyway? Hmm... Maybe this is where the burnt fragments come in. Objection. Yes! Some things were found at the crime scene after yesterday's trial. What things? The first was this small device. That's a remote triggered igniter. Correct. And one more thing. What are those? The remains of something burnt? Not another guitar, I hope. Traces of gunpowder were found on these fragments. Wait, he knows about it? We have a report that it was something like a, a firecracker. Eh, how did Gavin know about this? What? You think Detective Sky works for you? I received the report this morning, before coming here. That's when I made my decision, actually. What decision is this, Prosecutor Gavin? I registered Darian as a witness in today's trial. Just in case. This raises another possibility. Those gunshot-like sounds during the third set. Could have been two firecrackers rigged to go off by remote control. Haha, <laughs> you've got an active imagination, don't you? But you shouldn't say every little thing you think. Your explanation there seems a bit too convenient to me. How so? So you're saying the firecrackers just happened to go off? Right when two witnesses come walking by. Ha! Huh. That's right! Darian was not on stage when it happened, Apollo! How would he know someone was 
was backstage right then? If a firecracker goes off in the forest and there's no one around to hear... You get my drift. Why go through the trouble, man? Then... How do I explain this? He may not look it, but Darian is a gifted detective. Show him the weakness and he is sure to find it. He may not look it, partner! Gee, thanks, man. That reminds me. I happened to pass through that very hallway several times that day myself. And I saw something odd there just before the third set. Something odd? A headset. The kind all of the abandoned staff members were wearing. That's right. We picked this up in front of the door to that dressing room. What if that headset wasn't dropped but placed? And what if it was turned on? You could hear what was going on in that hallway. Even if you were out on stage. Feh! Whose side are you on, Gavin? Listen to me, Daria. There are no sides in a court of law. Which is why I now turn to you, her forehead. I have a question for you. Hmm? For me? The igniter and the burnt fragments that were found at the scene of the crime. It's certainly a possibility that they were part of a ruse to fake the sound of gunshots. Throw the headset from the hallway into the mix and you could fabricate an alibi. But we're still no closer to proving anything. Those gunshots might have been real or fake. We can't say. Yeah. You've raised the possibility that the shots heard during the third set were fake. Now you need to prove the other half of the case. The other half? Look, I'll just tell him. He wants you to prove that the thing went down in the second act. While our little piano player was on stage. That right, Gavin? Indeed. If you can't prove that, then to continue this cross-examination would be pointless. Hmm, well, Mr. Justice, can you prove the crime took place during the second chat? Sure we will, Mr. Judge. Next episode, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. And I believe, well, screw it. It's going to be next episode, case three, finale.